Why do we kiss? Like, what makes kissing so enjoyable? Humans are the only species to romantically kiss, and even then, it's not like all of our societies and cultures do it. Scientists and anthropologists have both said that kissing is a Western culture phenomenon. Like, we don't know why we kiss, but we still kiss because it feels good. But nobody knows why it feels good. Like, why does half the world say, I'm gonna touch my mouth with your mouth and share 80 million saliva bacteria with you for pleasure, while the other half the world thinks it's revolting? Like, what the fuck? Music peaked when I was 15 years old. You know, there is an actual psychological reason why the music from your teens and early 20s is gonna be your favorite and like stick with you forever. Between the ages of 12 and 22, your brain is going through rapid growth and it basically wires all the music you listen to up there permanently. Your neural pathways connect all these heightened emotions that you're feeling because of hormones to your favorite songs. Make sure that you're listening to as much music as you can during this time because you'll be setting yourself up for some super strong lifelong nostalgia. Also because people ask, here's some of my favorite music that I've been listening to for years. So as you get older, your hearing progressively gets worse and worse and there's no way to reverse it or even fix it. So it's really important that you take care of your hearing. And that means lowering the volume when you listen to music or even wearing earplugs at concerts. And for those who are interested, there's actually a way to test how old your ears are kind of just to see where you're at right now. You just need to look up e chalk hearing test and click that first result. Should I start the test? And you press the button and you can't hear it anymore. My hearing is 22, so I've taken really good care of my ears, so try it out for yourself. Try it on your parents, too. Did you know that your birth month can actually have an effect on which career path you choose? January babies have this mindset that they're natural born leaders, so they tend to do well in jobs where they're in charge or have high prestige, the most popular of which are general practitioners and debt collectors. People born in February are creative and unconventional, which means that they have a hard time with that nine to five job, which is why a surprisingly high amount of you guys become artists. But if you're born in February and you're not that artistic, you could become a traffic cop. There's a lot of you guys. It's a little weird. March babies do best when they have a career that can entertain people. This is why a lot of you guys become musicians. But you also have the highest number of airplane pilots. Maybe it's the intercom and the cheesy jokes before the flight. Where are my April babies at? I f love you guys. We are the most ambitious and career driven. We're the actual natural born leaders. Even though we have the most alcoholics, we have the most politicians, and we tend to do well in whatever the f we choose. I ran out of time, so like and follow for a part two. Did you know that your birth month can actually have an effect on which career path you choose? May babies, you guys are intelligent and logical most of the time, which means that you want a job that requires a lot of management skills. The most popular for your month are politicians, scientists, and business people. People born in June are the visionaries. They're imaginative and creative, and they want to make the world around them a better place, which is why you guys have the most CEOs and Nobel Prize winners. People born in July, while intelligent, tend to work better with their hands, which is why the most common career choices for you guys are bricklayers, train conductors, and artists. August babies thrive in environments where they're moving fast and working hard, which is why you guys also ranked really high in bricklayers, but also president of the United States. And I ran out of time again, so be sure to like and follow for a part three, and let me know, when's your birthday and what do you want to be when you grow up? Did you know that your birth month can actually have an effect on which career path you choose? Kids born in September tend to be the most organized, intelligent, and have the highest grades out of everybody else. This is probably why your month has the most bankers, accountants, and marketing experts. If you were born in October, apparently politics is your calling, which is a little boring, but it's cool to see that you want to make the world a better place. I hope. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is just because you guys were born in the same month as Thanksgiving, but research shows that November babies are the most empathetic and wanting to give back, which means that you'd be really good professors and teachers. <laughs> but research also shows that November has the most serial killers, so like, maybe don't? December has the most dentists, you teeth loving freaks, also sales and marketing. So a lot of people make fun of me and give me because I basically got famous for using Google. She knows? She knows! I'm aware! Anyway, I think it'd be kind of funny if we went through my, my search history just so you guys get an idea of what the f*** goes on up here. Does everyone have a crush on Simba from The Lion King? Answer, not everyone, but enough that I don't feel as alone. Is Florida Man actually crazy or is it the media? Fun shares! I'm disappointed. How much do funerals cost? Nobody I know has died, but the answer is too much. Why are the Simpsons always right? Fear of heartbeat. 
It's a real phobia that I have. Were dragons real? Maybe. How do microphones work? I, I still don't get it. How to not hate myself had no realistic answers. Reoccurring nightmare meaning because I am tired of the Muppets trying to kill me. I hope you enjoyed. So I always wear my hair like this and everybody always complains like, oh my God, Jayus, why do you wear your hair like that? It's always on one side. And you know what? I hear you, I listen. So I got my girlfriend here to help me try some different hairstyles and you guys are gonna tell me which ones you guys like. Pigtails are just gonna be a hard no for me. I, I look like Princess Leia. Got a high ponytail? We got uh, some braids now. <laughs> kind of shows off my undercut pretty well. Got the very highly requested middle part. I don't wear hats, but like, I could wear hats. The slick back matrix look is also another hard no for me. Oh my god. Straight Chase is back now. Let me know what you like. My parents, like all other parents, had nine months to decide on a name for me. But mine were like, nah. So five days after I was born, I still didn't have a name. They just called me Baby Girl. They're like, yeah, this is our daughter. Baby Girl. Baby Girl. Baby Girl. Baby Girl. Baby Girl. My mom wanted to name me Katie. And my dad wanted to name me Electra. Electra after the f comic book character! My mom said no to that because we lived in Vegas and at the time there was a very popular stripper named Electra. Kinda sounds cool though. They could not decide on anything and then somebody mentioned Isabella and they're like that! We like that! For those of you who still think my name is Jarius, it's not. It's Bella. By far, the clearest way to tell if somebody's into you is if you're like in a group or something and something funny happens and everybody's laughing, this person's gonna look at you. Only you. You're welcome. If you ever want a cold drink really quickly, but that drink is warm, wrap a wet paper towel around the drink and then put it in the freezer for like 15 minutes. But don't forget about it unless you feel like licking up slushy off your freezer walls. Never f put your card into a gas pump or an ATM without very aggressively just shaking that card reader because I can't even begin to tell you how many times I and people I know have gotten their identity stolen because they didn't do that simple You thought I was gonna do it. You thought I was gonna cut my hair. That's short too? Oh, you're fucking crazy. Why on earth would I cut my- I did it. <laughs> You guys want to know the story on how I actually started making TikTok videos? Because it's kind of funny. In high school, I got voted most likely to be famous because I had a fake storytime YouTube channel. But once I got to college, I stopped posting because it literally wasn't going anywhere. And then my sophomore year of college, my friend from high school was like, Bella, you got to check out this app called TikTok. And so I download it and it's just a bunch of gamers and theater kids. And I was like... This is cool, so I just watched it for like six months straight. I didn't post anything. The first thing I did post was this Starlight mod that I did to the roof of my car, and then that blew up, and I was like, holy f what the f I'm famous! And then I just like didn't post again. That was until my little sister started bragging about having like 10,000 followers, and I was like, I can get more than that. It became a competition between us on who can get more followers, and she was beating me for the longest time until I made this video about Bill Gates and then got fired from Best Buy for making TikTok videos and then I did psychology tricks and then I became Google girl now 9.3 million people follow me what the f things that are way older than you probably expected well, the rings around Saturn are estimated to be between 10 and 100 million years old but sharks are about 450 million years old that means that sharks as a species is older than in space space the electric car was invented in 1884, a year before the gas car. By the 1920s, we started building better roads, so people started driving further than the electric car could, and we discovered a bunch of big oil reserves, so gas cars just took over. Oreos were invented in 1912. Not too crazy to think about on its own, but sliced bread was invented in 1928, and chocolate chip cookies didn't come out till the 1930s. I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that everybody here has had a brain freeze before. Have you ever, like, wondered what that was? Oh. <laughs> well, I did, and it turns out the scientific name for a brain freeze is sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> so basically, when you drink a milkshake too quickly, the two main blood vessels to your brain contract. But then your body's like, wait, no, we need blood to the brain. So it sends warm blood up, which makes it expand. And that quick contraction and dilation makes your brain just panic and scream, PAIN! One surefire way to avoid a brain freeze is when you're drinking something cold, try wrapping your hands around your neck. Kinky. 
But if you're already in the middle of a brain freeze, take your thumb and put it on the roof of your mouth. The more you know. Do we have to have this conversation again? Like, I'm, I'm not short. My door is just like obnoxiously huge. Like this is just too big, especially compared to like my bathroom door or something normal. See, look at that. Hey mamas. Really weird human body facts that I can guarantee you didn't know. If you go from extremely hot temperatures to extremely cold temperatures too quickly, your eyes could explode. If you tickle just above your butt crack while peeing, it'll make you pee a little bit more. Boys, since the skin texture on your balls is so much different from the rest of your body, it's damn near fucking impossible to pull or pluck the hair there. It has to be shaved. So I'm almost at 500k on YouTube and I just posted a new video. Go check that out! Things that are way newer than you probably expected. The idea that Republican states are red and Democrat states are blue really only started in the year 2000. Before that, it was more random and the more liberal person usually got red. The high five was invented in 1977 by a gay baseball player who was uncomfortable with ass slaps. George Washington grew up in a world without knowing that dinosaurs ever existed, and the commonly accepted theory that dinosaurs were killed off by a meteor didn't get first theorized until 1980. You can actually go back and watch Disney's Fantasia, which came out in the 40s, and they show the dinosaurs being killed off by earthquakes. You're probably gonna want to know before you turn 18 from a fairly successful 21 year old. When you turn 18, get a credit card, and then only use it for like gas and groceries, and then Pay it off immediately. Your credit score is going to go up over time and you're going to be able to do all the you're supposed to do. Uh, do it. Whoever you are in high school, whether you're the weird kid or the popular kid, it doesn't f***ing matter in the real world, okay? Once you graduate college, you basically get a fresh start to be whoever the f*** you want to be. You're only one decision away from completely changing your entire life. Whether that's like quitting smoking, chasing your dreams, start working out. The bigger that change is, the harder the decision is going to be because you're literally changing timelines. So like... Do whatever the f you want to do. Also, I'm building my new computer uh, later today, probably around two o'clock on Twitch. So check that out. There are two types of people in this world, okay, and 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 only two: people who danced at school dances and the people who didn't. And yes, before you ask, not going counts as not dancing. And I I can get along with both types of people, but I, I tend to bond more with with the non dancers. And you have to pick a f side because there's a war coming, and it's not gonna look pretty because. Half of us can't f dance. I am gonna show you guys how to ruin a child's birthday party. Or make it better if they're into loud noises. Uh. Every party's gotta have balloons, right? <laughs> then you just need a piece of citrus, okay? When you squeeze this, the skin actually releases something called limonene, and balloons don't like limonene at all. Ah! You can do this all day long. But Jace, how does it work? Chemistry. Story time! I'm driving like three hours to my parents' house for Christmas right now, and I'm looking for food, and I see an In-N-Out, and I'm like, ew, In-N-Out, And I was like, why don't I like In-N-Out so much? And like, this memory just got like ripped from my head. In high school, I went to In-N-Out, and I ordered a burger, normal, okay, but I asked for no tomatoes, and this worker looked at me, and they're like, no tomatoes? And I was like, yeah, no tomatoes. I get my fucking burger, and there's no buns. It's tomatoes. So it goes tomato lettuce, onions, another tomato, cheese, burger, another tomato! I swear to God, they were in the back They're like, you know what would be funny? If we gave this three tomatoes when she asked for none! That and their fries kind of suck. Jack in the Box has never done me wrong. This is a Jack in the Box curly fry. in and out could never. This is the, uh, the drunk hotel version of weird human body facts that I can guarantee you didn't know. Everyone, and I mean everyone, has a unique smell, except for identical twins. They smell the same. You'll actually die sooner from lack of sleep than you will starvation. So my fellow insomniacs out there, take some melatonin, get some sleep. Your body gives off so much heat that in about 30 minutes, you'd be able to boil half a gallon of water. You're f hot. You guys know what buzz balls are, right? Like these alcohol mixed drink things? Okay, well I always thought they only came in this one size. I was wrong. This thing is f huge! And since me and my beautiful girlfriend are staying at home this Halloween being safe and sh we're gonna drink this. And we're gonna drink this all. Chug, 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 chug. One drink. So it's quite a few drinks later and we're at the, the big B. 
and I'm feeling it. You feeling it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're at the bottom of the B now. How you feeling? You got ice cream for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. So Bella's drunk. I'm perfectly fine. No, I don't know I'm how not. this happened, but Bella's drunk as shit. Yeah, no. almost done with the buzz ball. We finished. She finished. She wouldn't let me finish, but we finished. What inattentive ADHD looks like. Versus what it feels like. You should get some work There's done. There's so much to do. Ugh. If you do it, you will feel better. It's just gonna take so long. Just get up off the couch. Get up. Get up. Get, get up. up. Get, get up. up. Get get up. up. I hate you. Do it. You suck. Stop procrastinating. You're so lazy. You're so bad at being an adult. Your life is falling apart. Oh. I wanna dance with somebody. Wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah. I what wanna dance I with somebody. Here's some easy tricks that might just get you more matches on Tinder. Verify your profile. It lets everybody know that you are who you say you are and not just some random catfish. And getting verified is super easy. All you have to do is go to your profile page and then click on that little gray check mark. Then it's gonna ask you to match some selfie poses and after a really quick review, your profile will have a blue check mark that lets everybody know that you're you. Second thing you can do is make sure you don't have too many group photos. Yeah, sure, it's cool. You're letting people know you have friends, but when you do this, especially when it's the first or second photo, people get confused on who you are and they end up just swiping left. Another thing you can do is make sure you have a picture of yourself with a dog. It doesn't even have to be your dog. It's been proven though that when you do this, more people tend to swipe right. The last thing you can do is actually write out a bio and more than just a couple words. People want to know who you are. So if you let your personality shine through, you're more than likely going to get more matches. Dolphins scare me. They are literally the humans of the sea. And humans, we're awful. You don't believe me. Did you know that dolphins can stay awake for five days straight and not lose like any mental capacity like we do? That's terrifying. Dolphins will hump anything that moves and they'll rape you. Like this has happened before. Dolphins have raped humans before and they're littered with STDs. You don't want that. Dolphins hate babies, like not even other species babies, but their own dolphin babies. Male babies have been known to just kill dolphin babies and then rape the mom to make more babies, which they sometimes kill. Dolphins also just f with other species for fun. Like they'll just beat the f out of a puffer fish until it releases its poison and then they get high off of it. And then there's humans, we're like at the beach or something, we see dolphins, we're like, oh my god, dolphins, they're monsters! You guys know that video where I was talking about how dolphins are basically monsters? I personally feel like I made a pretty convincing argument, but I still feel like some of you don't believe me. Luckily, there's a whole lot of evidence that backs me up on this. Dolphins really f***ing enjoy tormenting other species. They'll use fish and eels to get themselves off. Speaking of masturbation, <laughs> sticking their dick in other dolphins' blowholes is apparently a really fun pastime for them. And the worst fact of them all is dolphins' nipples are located in their anus. Oh my God, Jayence, what are you talking about? Dolphins' nipples are located in their ass. Which means that baby dolphins breastfeed by sticking their nose in their mom's butthole and then the mom squirts the milk into their mouth. Why? Only monsters are designed like this. Facts you're probably gonna regret knowing, but I'm gonna tell you anyway because I know you're just like a curious little f Bob Ross actually hated his afro. He said it was just the easiest to maintain, and by the time he started picking up traction, it was way too iconic to change it. You know that one strange potassio? Potassio? Pistachio. You know that one strange potassio? You know that one strange pistachio that you get every few nuts? It's because the orange navel worm got inside of there and died. I'm sorry. Every year, thousands of children write letters to Santa Claus, and the most requested thing on their Christmas lists is a dad. What's the biggest lie that your parents ever told you? They told me that they had tiny security cameras all over the house, and I believed them because, like, I was six. So whenever I would do something wrong, they'd be like, Bella, did you do this? And I'd be like, no. And they're like, well, okay, we're going to go check the cameras. And I'd be like, wait a minute. Until one day, my little sister Jaden tells my stepmom that I hit her when I didn't. So my stepmom was like, Bella, we got to check the cameras. And I was like, F do it. I didn't do it. She leaves for a minute and I'm confident as f these cameras are gonna clear my name. <laughs> Stupid. She comes back and she's like, yeah, on the cameras, I saw you hit her. You're grounded. The cameras are wrong unless they don't exist. <gasps> Parents can lie.
I just had the weirdest high school memory get pulled out of my brain. Like I forgot it was there and now it's here. So we're gonna talk about it. So junior year, I started dating this girl who was still in the closet, okay? And it's only been a week. We haven't really told anybody and we definitely don't want her parents to find out who worked at the school, by the way. So like, it was a big secret. We're gonna call this girlfriend L, by the way. So one day I get called into the vice principal's office. I don't know what's going on, but he sits me down. He looks me in the eyes and he's like, so what's your relationship with L? What? I'm panicking because I can't be like, oh yeah, that's my girlfriend. So I'm just like, ah, we're best friends. Interesting, because I've heard some rumors. What are you talking about? This man looked at me and said, we've heard a lot of rumors saying that you're starting rumors about L being pregnant. on your eyes and you see all those like weird colors and shapes have you ever wondered why that happens or what that is well i did and it's a phenomenon called phosphine so basically your eyes don't know how to take in information that isn't visual so whenever you push on them you're stimulating all the rods and cones in your eyes with physical pressure and then your eyes try to process that as something they're seeing because that's all they know how to do the more you know if you ever make a joke and like nobody laughs and you want to save yourself from that embarrassment just be like wait you haven't seen that TikTok? Oh, okay. If you ever start to feel bad about not reaching out to a friend in like a really long time, just remember that they haven't reached out to you either. If somebody ever says something inappropriate, don't do that like nervous laugh thing because they're gonna think it's okay and keep doing it. Instead, be like, I don't get it. They're gonna be like, oh, it's a joke. Be like, oh, okay, explain it to me. Then you get to watch them struggle to figure out why their inappropriate joke is so funny. Unless they say it's from TikTok. Psychology tricks that I know work because I use them. If you ask someone a question immediately before playing rock, paper, scissors, they're more than likely gonna pick scissors. Hey babe, what color is your shirt? Yellow. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Giving people a small gift can drastically change their disposition towards you. You can make people that don't really like you all that much like you by just buying them a drink, a candy, or you know, buying them burritos with your David Dobrik Chipotle card. If you ever notice you're procrastinating and you just know that you need to get started on but you just don't feel like it, try narrating your life in the third person. Guaranteed you'll start getting done after 30 seconds of- And Bella continues to avoid her YouTube video. She sits back down on the couch to watch an episode of Friends that she's seen a million times as she eats her third helping of gold, but fuck, I gotta do it. In the past two days, I've probably gotten like an hour and a half of sleep, so in honor of that, here are some facts about sleep deprivation. Did you know that lack of sleep is actually one of the biggest causes of car accidents? <laughs> I have to drive like six hours today. Uh, well, buy a coffee and don't die. Oh boy, okay. Um, did you know that like no sleep can actually make you like, uh, um, forgetful? What? Forgetful. Maybe, I don't know. Oh my god, you're gonna die. Um, did you know that sleep deprivation actually can lower your sex drive? What? No. I'm- I'm going to see my girlfriend, that's what the six hour drive is for. <laughs> well, if you make it there alive, you are for sure not getting late. You're just going to want to pass out. Uh-huh. Well, does sleepiness cause you to talk to yourself like I'm doing right now? No. Nah, I think you're just crazy. So I casually make a post on Instagram, okay, because I'm curious, and I asked, have you guys ever had a dream about me? And if so, what was it about? And oh my god, I didn't realize how many of you wanted to f*** me. Huh? I, I made a pass at, at you first? No! What the f***? I slept you! It's kinda hard to dream when I'm up thinking about you. <laughs> this one's unacceptable. Uh-uh. No, no. My feet... I'm just confused though because I'm basically the Bill Nye the Science Guy TikTok and while I'm up here talking about penguins and y'all can't stop thinking about how much you want to Apparently, if you give a toddler an egg, they'll be gentle with it, but... I don't think you guys know my brother. Ariel, you want the egg? Here you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Mm -hmm. What? He's like gearing up. <laughs> Dude, you threw the egg. <laughs> I'm going to get you. The word okay is a fake word. In the 1830s, it was like a big joke to misspell words on purpose because, you know, they had like the best sense of humor. The most famous of which was all correct, which turned into oral correct, which turned into okay. Which means that the word okay is just the wrong way to spell the misspelled abbreviation. So I hope from now on, whenever you say okay, that you just remember you're saying all correct, which sounds ridiculous. Hey babe, you wanna go to the store with me? All correct. Really weird human body facts that I can guarantee you didn't know. Your hair actually grows faster if you're anticipating sex. Your brain has the consistency of soft butter. Because of the elasticity of your skin, it would actually take three full rotations to remove a human head. Welcome to the Robot Vacuum Olympics! Let's meet your contenders. The $150 googly eyed D-Bot that I've had for nine months and who ate a cork? Dude, why? Or the fancy $900 D-Bot that got sent in to me yesterday and I'm afraid to touch. Round one, cleaning ability. I've collected some dirt that I will now sprinkle on my floor. Yeah. why am I doing this? All right, googly eyes is first. He, uh, he missed a spot. And she's off. Okay, she stopped. Like, really just thinking about it, I guess? <gasps> what? There's like, there's nothing there. Round two, intelligence. I'm just gonna let them run and see how long it takes for them to start like running into issues. I mean, already he's been spinning in circles, like stuck in between the carpets. <laughs> Round three, superpowers. I can control him with a remote, which is cool. What I love about her is she empties herself. Also doubles as a mop. You win. If you're ever in a conversation with somebody who won't shut the up and let you get a word and they just keep talking and talking and talking drop something maybe not that obvious but when you go to pick it up they're gonna have to pause and that's your opportunity to speak i actually use this one quite a bit okay so if your power ever goes out check out your phone or computer okay for wi-fi networks to see if it's just you or everybody else never ever say oh i just assumed because i used to do that my parents would always be like, well, assuming makes an ass out of you and me, okay? Instead, say, oh, I was under the impression you'll get in a lot less trouble. Ah! Ah! Welcome to Closet Talk, the sh closet TikTok show where I talk about things that probably should have stayed in the closet. On today's episode, we're talking about awkward that everybody's experienced, but nobody wants to talk about. Does anybody actually like being sung to happy birthday? Cause it's always made me uncomfortable just having my entire family like, happy birthday to you. You don't even know if you get to sing along or not. If you just have to sit there like, You know that like a couple seconds at the end of a Zoom meeting where everybody's already said bye, but like nobody's hung up yet, but they're going to, but it's just like that awkward silence. I just, f that. Don't get me wrong. I love bowling, but you know that feeling after you bowl and you watch the pins get knocked down and you have to turn around and walk back? Yeah, I hate that feeling. Do other countries not have this? Do you guys not have a pledge of le- Okay, so basically from a very young age, like kindergarten, they make all the kids in class stand up and you have to face the flag and put your right hand over your heart. This is my left hand, but whatever. And you have to say, uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And it's the most cultish in the world why do we do this you want to know what keeps me up at night a lot of things but do you guys remember old tvs whenever you would touch them they have like a weird feeling it was like fuzzy and staticky new tvs don't have that there's nothing here i'm not experiencing any sensations i don't where are you that means that one day that feeling's just gonna be gone like that feeling you got when i mentioned old tv fuzzy static feeling people aren't gonna have that they're not gonna know what the we're talking about we're gonna be so old and i'm scared and this doesn't make any sense there are so many things that i should probably know but i just don't understand like what the f is dust how can something sit there do nothing and still get dirty records how the f can this piece of wax with tiny grooves on it getting dragged across with the needle produce beautiful music
Also, this one glows in the dark. I don't know how this works either. I also don't know what an acre is. Like, I went to a high school where people were like, yep, my parents just bought 16 acres worth of walnut trees. And I'd be like, wow, walnuts grow on trees? <laughs> Hey, okay, mom just left. I'm in charge. He says one of us has to do the dishes and the other has to clean the bathroom. Oh, okay. Um, I want I want to do the dishes. Uh, no, I'm doing the dishes. You clean the bathroom. What? No. Why? Because I'm older than you. I'm in charge and doing the dishes is faster. Yeah, well, I'm not cleaning the bathroom and I'll tell him. You tell mom you're being mean. How about instead of being a rat, you just go clean the bathroom because I am doing the dishes. No, you're not. I'm doing the dishes. Hey, get your hands off me. I'm not cleaning the bathroom. Ah, stop hitting me. Let me do the dishes. I'm doing the dishes. Let me do them. No. Bella, I will beat you with the swiffer. No, you what? but ended up with a trick. Very clever. By far my favorite video. Black screen for 11 minutes. Ah! For like three hours I just had a video up that was just nothing. Just black screen the whole time. And people thought it was the joke. People thought it was the joke. No. Ah! I just re-rendered the whole thing and just posted it on YouTube. Honestly, I don't even think the video is as good as- Vape? <laughs> no. Reusable cleaning swab by Reusable. Yes, you heard me right. This is a reusable eco-friendly Q-tip basically, but why do you need one? Because this is a 500 pack of cotton swabs, okay? And that's a lot. And every year the Q-tip brand, just this brand, not any of the other off-brand stuff, makes 25.5 billion of these. And they've been around for like 90 years. Can you imagine how many of these we've just thrown away? And humans already send 5 trillion pieces of plastic to the ocean every year. Like, this is not helping. Don't you care about the seahorses, man? But with these, it's just one little silicone piece that you use to clean your ears, whatever. And when you're done, you just wash it off with some water and that's it. That's literally it. That's so much less waste. And these cleaning swabs by Reuse Swabble come in a bunch of different colors. So if you're interested in this, want to help reduce your waste, go ahead and click the link in my bio to check them out. So for those of you guys who don't know, I was actually in foster care from 16 to 18. And I just remembered a funny story. The first day of foster care, they basically take me from school to my new home where they didn't speak any English, okay? And I didn't have my backpack, I didn't have clothes, and I didn't have deodorant. The next day is the second day of school. I have to get ready and I'm wearing my first day of school clothes all over again because I don't have anything else. And I'm like, I'm gonna f smell. I don't have deodorant. I haven't taken a shower, but I noticed that my bunkie, this girl who doesn't speak any f***ing English, she has deodorant. So I was like, I'm gonna steal her deodorant while she's asleep. <laughs> so I'm tiptoeing to her side of the room, okay? I'm reaching for the deodorant, and I'm just about to grab it, and she wakes up! She straight up went like this, and stared at me! And I'm staring back at her, and we're just like this for a solid minute. I'm sorry. And then I went to school smelly for like the rest of the week. <laughs> I swear to God, nothing gets on my nerves more than when women talk about how they're scared of men, you know, scared of being raped, kidnapped, or murdered, because that happens, okay? And then boys are like, mm, but not all men, not all men are like, no, Kyle, we obviously know not all men are like that, but it's enough. There's enough men acting like creeps that it scares all women, and when you don't defend women, they just think that you're a part of the creeps. So if you don't want that to happen, you're gonna have to start calling out dudes for their sh behavior because I promise you, Kyle, I promise you that no girl is gonna want a b who says not all men, they want somebody who's gonna f stand up for them. Psychology tricks to help you with your next interview. Try to embody someone that you admire that has traits relevant to the interview situation. Visualize the whole thing and you'll become much more calm and confident in the situation. Make sure your hand is warm when you go to shake hands with your interviewer because it's going to immediately make you a more desirable person than if it was freezing cold. 
You got to read the room. Look at what their attitude is, what their demeanor is, how they're acting. And you kind of want to mirror that. Don't be obvious. Just if they're laid back, you be laid back. But be authentic. Be yourself. If you're feeling a little nervous, try changing your state of mind by lying to your brain. Tell yourself that you've known these people your whole life and you're just old friends going to catch up and that you can't wait to see them. I promise you, the power of suggestion is way stronger than you think. Do you want to give off psychopath vibes? <gasps> Be sure to never leave your house without your public toothbrush. Just take it with you wherever you go and just brush your teeth in the middle of the conversation. Just start bursting out laughing about something funny you thought of. <laughs> when someone's like, dude, what's so funny? You just gotta start like laughing even harder at your own joke and so funny. <laughs> Whenever you have to wait in line, just start jogging in place. You're not hurting anybody, you're just passing the time, but people are gonna wanna stay the f away from you. Things I can't prove are true, but like deep down, I know they are. Most flat earthers don't actually think the earth is flat. They're just doing it for attention. The line on detergent caps is actually way higher than how much you should use to wash your laundry because they want you to use more detergent. It's so easy for them to get away with. The Hawaii nuke false alarm thing that happened a few years ago that they said was an accident was actually the United States government testing to see how the general population would react in a nuclear war. Surprise, we panicked. I am so close to 500k on YouTube. So close. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was a way better movie than Avengers Endgame. If I am going to eat cookie dough and you tell me, oh no, you shouldn't do that, there's salmonella, I f***ing hate you. Brushing your teeth before breakfast is like wiping before pooping. All drugs should be legalized because it's none of the government's business what substances people decide to put in their bodies. People who call other people hun are f***ing assholes and they know it. Spooky facts. I can do better. Spooky facts. Eh, I did this last year. That's the spirit. <laughs> if you decide to donate your body to science, they could use you as a real life crash test dummy. They could also sever off your head to be practiced for plastic surgeons, or they could leave your body in a field to study how it decomposes in different conditions. Most people smell different when they're asleep. When you die, your hearing is actually the last thing to go. So the last thing you'll probably ever experience is like the paramedics calling off CPR or your family saying like, finally! Happy Halloween, you guys, but this is a friendly reminder that we are still in the middle of a f***ing pandemic. So don't be stupid, don't go out in large groups, and wear a f***ing mask. If your dog is ever like hardcore staring at you, they're not just trying to be creepy. It's one of two things. They're either trying to get your attention because they want your attention, or they're trying to read your facial expressions to gauge how you're feeling. Your dog might have the habit of humping something or even someone, but most of the time it's not anything sexual. It's just their way of showing dominance. But sometimes it is sexual, so maybe just stop that they're doing it. By far the easiest way to train a new puppy is to have an older mentor dog around that's trained and well behaved because if you tell that older dog like hey sit and it does it the puppy is going to have a much easier time understanding what that command means rather than if you were just training it by itself. Why don't we laugh? Like, don't you guys think it's a little odd that anytime we find something funny we like squish up our faces and show our teeth and start hyperventilating? According to evolutionary biologists they say that we evolved laughing before speech which makes sense. They also say it probably came from like our ancestors play fighting with each other and then panting as a way to show that they're okay with what's going on, not in danger and having fun. And as humans became more social creatures over thousands of years, laughter also turned into a sign of nervousness or hysteria or to be used to manipulate or appease others. But either way, laughing is like really f weird when you really listen to it. <laughs> Everybody, listen to f up. This video is mostly for TikTok creators, but TikTok might suppress this video. Even though what I'm saying is true, it's not the best look. TikTokers are the most underpaid social media people ever, especially when you take into consideration how many views we bring to the platform and how much money we make for brands. Dude, calm down. I can already hear you guys typing, okay? I'm not bringing this up to be like, oh my god, I'm not making enough money. That's not the point. The point is, a lot of TikTokers are so new at this that they have no idea how much they're actually worth. The brands know, but they're not going to tell you that, so it's all up to you. I've been talking to TikTokers for years about how much they make, and it always blows me away how much we undersell ourselves. Recently, I've learned that brands will pay a white creator four to five times more than a black creator. That's f***ed up. So if you're a creator that has no idea how much they're worth, please hit me up on Instagram. I can help you figure all that out. I can help you with negotiating tips. I can help you find an agency. Let me help you, please. Not so fun facts to completely ruin your day. Koala bears are probably going to go extinct soon, considering that 90% of them have chlamydia, and they have chlamydia because they eat each other's
The average adult has about 10 pounds of organisms living in and on you that are considered not you. There is no guarantee that the universe just won't end in five seconds. I guess we're safe for now. If you were able to travel back in time and kill baby Hitler, you wouldn't be seen as a hero or get any credit. You would just be that guy that killed a baby. If you think of sugar like you do cocaine, you would know that 46 grams of sugar is way too much to put inside a can of Mountain Dew. Generation Alpha who's growing up on iPads and tablets are gonna have the same exact internet addiction that we do, but without all the computer skills. So this video's for FaZe Blaze and Carter PCs. So if you're not either of them, scroll. Blaze, you wanna go and ask for the crown of best PCs after I've shown you mine? You called it beautiful! I'm just kidding, your computer's actually like really sick, I just wanted the option to show off mine. I mean, look at how fucking gorgeous this thing is. Got the Asus Prime X5070 Pro, the Ryzen 9 5900X, 64 gigabytes of RAM, and an all-white 3080. It also looks like we have the same AIO, I just like painted mine white. And there's a ton of fans! You can't go wrong with the Spider-Man theme I got going here. So Carter PCs, we all value your opinion. Give me the crown. Society norms that nobody talks about, but are pretty f***ing weird. Really tall buildings, hotels, and planes just skip the number 13. Like, they'll go from floor 12 to floor 14 because of some weird superstition. Like, adults do this. The moment you're near sand or water, you're just, like, allowed to be half naked. Like, it's really weird when somebody's fully clothed at, like, a pool or something. But the moment you're not near a pool or the beach and you're half naked, it's looked down upon and sometimes illegal. Whenever we see somebody that we kind of know in public, we just don't acknowledge them. We have to act like we don't know who they are. We're just like, Ehh. Really weird human body facts that I can guarantee you didn't know. About a minute before you even start exercising, your heart rate will actually involuntarily increase in anticipation. You know, if you actually exercised. The smell of rain is caused by a bacteria called geosemin, and the human nose is extremely sensitive to it. Like, we can smell rain better than sharks can smell blood. The average boner uses about two tablespoons of blood to become erect. About the same amount of blood that's inside of a gerbil. So guys, you're welcome. Next time you have a boner, you're gonna think of a gerbil and probably lose it. Or not, depending on what you're into. Friendly reminder that if you made $100 an hour, worked 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year, with no holidays, you didn't buy anything, and didn't pay taxes, it would still take you five thousand years to make one billion dollars so the smarter you get the more you actually start to doubt yourself it's called the dunning kruger effect and this is the exact reason why the dumbest people are always the most confident sarcasm has been proven to strengthen the right side of your mind responsible for controlling creative thoughts it's also a sign of a healthy and intelligent mind your brain has a specific area entirely dedicated to recognizing human faces. That's why all animals of certain species look virtually identical to us, but we're able to distinguish between some pretty similar looking people. And if you damage this part of your brain, it actually can lead to something called face blindness, which is exactly how it sounds. So if you're ever thinking about like hitting up your ex or sending that risky text to that person you have a crush on, Rub one out first, you know, choke the chicken, sauce the taco, and then reread what you wrote and see how you feel because post nut clarity is real and it'll save you from so much embarrassment. Did I ever tell you that I'm gay? What? I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me that you're a homosexual? Are you being serious? Are you being serious right now? Today being the very first day of Shark Week, here are some shark facts that I can guarantee you didn't f***ing know. Male sharks don't just have one, they have two penises. They're f***ing double the shark Sharks have been known to have a sort of sixth sense. They have these special cells that help them detect electricity around them to help them find food, mates, and detect when they're in danger, and they have that even when they're still in eggs. Sharks evolved a hundred million years before trees existed. Do you realize how old you have to be to be around before trees? 